love that animation. Yeah. It just puts you in a good it's mood. It's kind of like, eh, General Palmer. Yeah, cool. just galloping into town. Between Zebulon Pike and General Palmer, Colorado Springs already had a legendary history heading into the 20th century. But did you know that one of the world's greatest scientists also called our city home for a short while? KRD on News Channel 13's Josh Helmuth explains how our city may have helped achieve a giant leap in technology in this week's sesquicentennial minute. You could easily walk right past it and miss it. It humbly stands here in Memorial Park, a plaque honoring Nikola Tesla. He was already a world-renowned scientist when he came to the Springs back in 1899, set up a laboratory in the Knob Hill neighborhood in the current day North Foot Avenue part of town. And even though he was in the Springs for less than a year, the time in which he was here, he made an everlasting impact. Tesla believed he could be the first to develop wireless technology by studying lightning. And he knew here in the Springs he would see a lot of it. He studied how he could see lightning coming and still feel it after it left. And he was interested in the wireless transmission of energy. Tesla predicted through his Colorado Springs experiments that he could eventually be able to send a wireless message from the top of Pikes Peak to Paris. Unfortunately, he left town before he got that chance. Once he was satisfied that he had enough information that his work here was done, he left his laboratory, headed off to New York, where he was building a brand new laboratory in Wycliffe, and never returned. Tesla's lab was eventually dismantled and sold to pay his debts. Still, his memory proudly lives on in the Springs 122 years later. Josh Helmuth, News Channel 13, Colorado Springs.